We have Dr. David Bernstein, so first dam in the making, okay? <laughs> and here we have Rabbi Dan Lieberman. And here we have Habachur Rabbi Mitzvah, Eliyahu Asher Chaim Ben Arav Daniel Dov. Okay, and here we have Uncle Jeffrey and me. Okay, so what we're going to do today, what you can see here is you can see some tefillin. Yes. Okay, you can see some tefillin. Now, these tefillin have got a very, very special story. But, but these are models? These are the ah, real okay, ones? Okay, these are the real ones. These so are models. Just to explain a little bit. Okay. But should we go to the real ones? Let's just have a look at the real ones for the moment. And so, then... I took the liberty. I went to a special sofer. Who, it's not a simple thing to, to open these. So he used, uh, he, we tried normal means and then he used the very special pliers. So we actually opened them, okay? And um, here we have the Shel Yad. And uh, by the way, the Batim are perfect and can be reused. Huh. Yes, right. the Ratsuot need to be changed. But the Batim, and as you, yeah, the Batim can be kept. And as you can see, the uh, Shel Yad, right? Ot is in the singular, so there's one parshia inside. You see that, Ellie? Yeah. Okay. And would you like me to now take it out? I want to tell, put, want to tell the story of these feeling first before we actually uh, Please, and do this that. Is, so I'll just show for show a moment the, sh the show difference. The shell rosh. The shell rosh. Okay. It has four compartments. Once more, the batim are, are in wonderful condition and they're great uh, quality. And you can see four parchments inside. Do that now? Okay, so now I'm going to tell you the story of these tefillin. Did you want to sit? When he was coming up to Bar Mitzvah, I had, um, I had a friend, a patient and a friend, uh, a man called uh, Doniel Schwartz in Manchester. Okay, and he was a patient of mine, and he was also a friend of mine, and he was a first, first class sofa stump well recognized as being uh, a mumcha in his field, the tops. And I asked him to write tefillin for Dan, for his bar mitzvah. Dan's my oldest son. And um, he said, yes, he'd be delighted to make the tefillin. I asked him about a year beforehand. Everything was order organized. Unfortunately, halfway through the year, he had a stroke. He was a young man. I think he was probably in his... I don't know, maybe 40s, 40s, late 40s maybe, he had a stroke and it affected his writing hand and it was completely paralysed on his right hand. So of course, um, of course I uh, didn't go to him and say, oh well you know, you, I'll have to find somebody else. I just had found somebody else. I had another friend, a very close friend, who's actually a dentist, <laughs> like you. Uh, who's also a sofa and has written a number of Sifrei Torah. Uh, and I asked him, a close friend of mine, I asked him to write tefillin for Dan. And he wrote beautiful tefillin for Dan. And about a month before Dan's bar mitzvah, Daniel Schwartz turns up at my house with a set of tefillin, which he had written with his left hand. He taught himself to write with his left hand after his stroke. He could hardly, barely speak, um, and he tr wrote these tefillin with his left hand. I already had the other tefillin that I'd asked my dentist friend to write, and um, so I took these tefillin, which were written with his left hand, to my Rebbe, Dain Westheim, Sichrona Livracha, and I said, told him what happened and everything, I said, you know, can you check these? You know, they've been written with the left hand. You know, maybe they're not, you know, they're not kosher or what. Anyway, he checked them. He said, no, they're not the most Mohuda thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, because obviously they've been written with, uh, with his left hand. He says, but they're, they're very special, these tefillin. They're kosher tefillin. And they're very special tefillin. Because this man had broken his teeth on this thing to, to write with his left hand. Can you imagine it? Saying, I couldn't write with my right hand. I couldn't write a single letter. And he'd write, written these parashi up with his left hand after he's had a stroke. So we spoke about it and Dan decided that he would uh, wear the tefillin that my dentist friend had written. And these became spare tefillin, which we used from time to time. They were spare tefillin in the, in the family. My father became ill 
a uh, number of years later um, and um, we had his tefillin checked. My father was very, very mapped on his tefillin. Never, ever, ever missed a day of his life of wearing tefillin. Even in the British Army, he wore tefillin every wow. single day. Wow. And um, he, uh, um, he, uh, and I said, we took his tefillin to be checked and they weren't great. So I said, well, you know, we don't need to get new tefillin. I've got these tefillin from Donil. They're very special to these tefillin. You wear them. And he wore those, these tefillin for, I think, probably, what, the last five, seven, maybe five, seven years of his life, he wore those tefillin, these tefillin here. Um, he, um, he passed away um, whilst he was in utero. Wow. He was born, uh, uh, Ellie was born three months after he passed away, and he's named after him. My father was Asher Chaim, he's Eliyahu Asher Chaim. Mm. And so after my father passed away, um, they remained spares. And then when I came here, I brought these with me. And these are the tefillin that I've been wearing since 2013. My own tefillin, my, my original, well, not my original, but the tefillin that I was wearing, I leave in England. So when I go to England, I don't have to travel. I've got my tefillin in England when I was going backwards and forwards. And these are the tefillin that I've been wearing since I made Aliyah. So we gave... A choice. We said we can buy some new tefillin for Eli, uh, for his bar mitzvah, or he can have these tefillin, which A, were written with, with such Mesirat Nefesh, were worn by the person that he's named after, and worn by me for the best part of 10 years. Um, so that's what uh, he chose. Wow. Um, and now's the time to see whether uh, we can do it, whether they are in good condition. Okay. So that's the story of these to fill in. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they are. Okay. <laughs> Lovely story. A beautiful story. Here you can, you can sit here. Okay. So, so I'll put these away so we don't have Ellie, come to closer so you yeah, can see. Ellie can come closer. We'll start. We'll start with Shalyad. It's a little easier to take off. So Ellie, you can see in here there's just some some parchment, some uh, ratsua that is put in there just to tether it in place. Okay, once we take that out. Let's see now, I'll take this out gently. Okay, and I just want to show here that uh, I was taught this, there's Allah Moshe Misinai of how we wrapped how we wrap the parshiot. This is a calf's hair and something to do with the egel. The rabbis here might know a lot more than me. And uh, also uh, it is wrapped in cloth. And we're not sure, both are apparently Allah Chala Moshe Misinai, but we're not sure which is first. So we do both. We do the, the, the hair, the se'al, then we do the... Uh, um, then we do the clough, and then this uh, are again. So. I want to tell you, I've never ever seen this before in my life. Have you seen this now? It's only mm. on the video. Mm. So here we are. This is very, very moving. And always it is wrapped such that as soon as you open it, you can read. So everything is wrapped like that. And of course, the shalyad is one, one parchment for all four. And... Uh, Usually seven lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Okay, so here's the first parshia. You read that, Ali. Kadesh Li Kol Bachor Patar Peter Peter Kol Rechem Rechem Bibne Israel Badam U Excellent. Excellent. Unbelievable that this is written with the wrong quote unquote hand. I know how much I strive to write properly with the right hand. Okay, 
So that's the first parashia. This is the second one. The first and the last parashiot are the longest. They look in good condition to me. I mean, amazing. I don't know about the, the, whether the, the, the writing is, is yeah. kosher or not, but it looks in good condition, it doesn't sure it? Sure looks amazing. How old are you, Dan? 35. 35, yeah. So these are, you were 12 when he wrote these. So these wow. are 20, 23 years. 23 years, yeah, and sure. they look perfect. Amazing. In, in perfect condition, at least. They sure do. It's unbelievable, again, that it's written with the left hand. Maybe it's signed. Here's the third parashia, and of course we're familiar. Hey, look at this one, Ellie. You know this, this one. This you know. Yeah. Ellie, yeah. can you tell what letters are large in the first line? Larger than the other letters? Ayin, Dalit. Beautiful. Which reads, Ayin and, and Dalit together. Ad. Aid. Aid. Means a witness. Right. I don't know whether I'm just seeing this, David. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm not. And maybe I'm just seeing it because I want to see it. It looks to me that Daniel has written this. And every shin seems to stand out to me. Yeah. Look at the shin of Asher there. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. And, and again, if you look over there, there's another Asher uh, in, in a previous parasha. And I thought, maybe I'm seeing things because my father was Asher. Hmm. Wow. But, but I don't know. I, maybe yeah, I'm just seeing that. But it looks to me. Can you see that as well? Definitely a bit of a of a larger. Can you see? Font. Yeah, it's a bit bolder. Yeah. A little bolder. Yeah. Hey, Jeffrey, you come see it as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You really shot him that one. Yeah. Can you see the the shin there? And the yeah. Of Asher. Asher. Yeah. Wow. And and and, and the iron as well. Yeah, the shin of yeah, and the, the shin of as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It particularly caught my eye with Asher, obviously. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. And here is the last parashia. Vayam Shamoa. Although writing your shin does take a lot more ink yes. than other letters. I found this out signing Gittin. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, wow. Lo Lo yes. Sometimes mm. it's a mitzvah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. We shouldn't know. I did one of 30 years. Wow. Wow. Johnny, is the server still alive? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, alive. I was just gonna ask. Yeah. Oh, wow. he's, he's not. He, he, Unbelievable. He, he must have been in his not, 40s. I reckon he's now probably. He's a little bit older than me. He's not look, much older than me. Look he's at probably, the precision. In the 60s. I don't. I don't think he's With 70. Yet. And the nun. Look at the precision. The nun and the lamed not touching each other. Loti ten. al. Right. Very difficult. I mean, to think that he's done this with his left hand, can you imagine no. the serious nefesh that really, went into this? Really, really, really unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, certainly I've not, you know, I've, I'm not a, 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 a qualified bodek, magiha, but I'm not seeing any letters that I see deformed, and I don't see any letters that are touching one another. I don't know if any of you see anything. But anyways, all right. That Aleph and the Fe there, look how close they are, but they're not touching. And the Aleph and the Fe. Here, the Af, not sure. Uh, Af, yeah, no, but they're definitely they're not, not touching. touching. They're not touching, but they are. Yeah, yeah. Very, very challenging, yeah. all mm -hmm. these things. Yeah, it's very hard yeah. to do. Very, very, okay. Beautiful. So we're looking now at the... At the um, okay, so far so good. For a terrific. Okay, I'll just leave that here. And now... Where's the... So these are a little bit trickier to take out. It's four compartments. Four compartments. And um, so there's uh, just a thought I'll, I'll describe this. There's a, a machloket of whether they go in the order of the kore or the meniach. Right? So, right? So, kadesh li ve'yayake ve'yachashma ve'yayim shamoa. And the psaq, the halacha, as the rabbis here know, is that it goes... The Koreh, right? According to, so the Shema would be on the right side of the observer. Okay. A little tricky here when we take it out, not to tear the wrapping. So these are also wrapped in the same way? The same way. 
wow. very challenging because when you fold the parashiot, you don't want to crease them because you could, uh, the ink has volume to it and you could easily crack it. Crack it, yeah. exactly. So, okay. So this should be Shema. <laughs> and, uh, You know you said it's wrapped in cloth. No, in cloth. In cloth. Cloth. In, uh, in a cloth. cloth yeah. Right. I, I was going to say it, it, because, yeah. Okay. So no, it's not the Shema, for sure it's, I mean, Kadeshli. Kadeshli, right? The right side is Kadeshli, yeah. that's the first Parsha. And here you see a, a, how delicately it had to be folded without creasing. And see this, Ellie? Yeah. Here, Selba can hold it on this side. Oh, thin can cloth as well, huh? Can you see? Yes, it is thinner. Beautiful octave. Absolutely beautiful octave. Tagging. Unbelievable, isn't it, that this was done with, with his left hand? It's, it's just really... staggering, really. Yes. So, David, I, I went to a, a, a sofa in the Benjamina, Jonathan. Uh, 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 Go how close they are. And he had a machine. Yeah, but they're not that touching, actually, are they? Actually, you put the clap on the machine and it, and it magnified it. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Well, um, what, what did you, you, what did you point out, out Ellie? Oh, right, so you know what was it? Haaretz. Yes. Yeah, see how close they are. Oh, it's wow. still not touching. It's not touching the tug. It's and the tug there that's almost that touching. Yeah. Yeah. I find, yeah. oddly enough, I find this writing yeah. even finer yeah. than the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, than what I saw in the in the Shaliad. Wow. Well, it's possible, you know, it's possible that he did these. Uh, before the stroke. Before the stroke, uh, yeah. I, I would think it's significant. I don't know yeah. if you can see. Yeah, yeah, I can see. It's significantly finer and more consistent yeah. than the tagim yeah. and, and the finer. sheen. The sheen is not. It's, yes, the sheen is very the... thin. Can you see? Because that's how you're yeah. supposed to do. The arms of the shin are, are quite thin. Yeah, I think this was. I think he probably. It's a different hand. Did he do the shell? He Rosh must have first. done the. He must have done the shell. Rosh, right? Rosh, Rosh, Rosh first. So it's that... a machloket. It's a machloket. Which one? Um, if I remember, the Rama says to do, according to the pasuk, right? Mm. So we follow the pasuk. We do the shaliyad first. The Ari felt that the kedusha of shel Rosh is higher, and therefore he should do that first. And I think both are acceptable. Very I, I reckon that he probably did this. Yeah. Um, he probably did this first, and then he wrote the is, uh, the, the show Yad. Which is impeccable, impeccable writing. Impeccable writing. Okay, should we take out the next? Let me just have a look at that one again uh, to see. I mean, it's still amazing. But look at look for example the tag the shins really and yeah. the tagim on the nun. Oh well, I'm not looking at oh there we go. Tagim on the nun, right? They're very nice, but I think the other Yeah, yeah. So it's probably that's probably what happened. It'd be interesting to ask him. Yeah, if you remember. I don't even know mm. if you remember, but Okay. So Kadesh Livaya Kivyacha. I don't. I wouldn't like to ask him, because then I would be yeah. saying effectively. I would be saying the shell yard is not as nice uh, as just shell rosh. I don't want to say so. This is this is Rabbi Lieberman's Torah, and that's why we're in Netanya. That's why we're here. Okay, this seems a little bit like there's some kind of a little bit of an obstacle. Okay, so not unlike dentistry, gotta move it. Good job, you're used to working with fine things. Yeah. Can you see it's a little bit... Tight. I'll try to push it to the other side.
There we go. There we go. There we go. Like delivering a baby. <laughs> yeah. Haven't done those, but I've delivered teeth. Yeah. <laughs> opening a present yeah. Ellie it's very special that you chose this over brand new shiny I agree it says who you are here Ellie you want to open it yeah look at the beautiful writing Unbelievable. I was a red one by my grandfather. And it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll hold it. Yeah, you hold it. Please. When I was uh, 11 and a half. Mm -hmm. So he did not mm -hmm. make it. I have an older brother and he is not. He is a father. <laughs> My other grandfather, who died before we were born, and they're both named after Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Jonathan's father was 12. He was Ellie's age. Shall we open the next one? Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Okay, there we go. And when he died, I thought it was the end of my mother. So he was just to be destroyed. You see, I don't know, you see, you see Tfilin, and you have no idea what goes on inside. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Tfilin opened. No. Never Neither have I. I've never seen uh, a film opened in my life. Two very long lessons of Al wow. Khar. Amazing. What a beautiful idea to do this. This one's shorter. Yes, the shortest. You can read this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. See, it's not the chaf sofit is not touching the edge because every letter has to be what's called mukaf gvil, has to be surrounded by white and uh, cannot touch the borders, it cannot touch another letter, and I don't see any. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Should I open the last? And the last one. See, I don't know if this is in the stamp, but when you also when you're writing a get, you've got to be careful about writing letters underneath other letters. Like for example, if you write a lamad yeah. underneath a resh, mm -hmm. you have to start from the bottom, mm. not the top. Because if you start from the top and you stop, then you've written a hey. Yes, very much. It's a whole siman. So you've got to be very careful. So if you're writing a lamad, and it can happen in a yet, yeah. you write it from the bottom. Yep. So that you've got a full letter underneath oh. the resh. And, and to correct it, there's a principle of chak tu chot. Yeah. So if you correct it, if you shorten that lamid, you're changing a hey to a resh yeah. by chak tu chot. Yeah. And then that, you've got to do something. So, yeah, wow. That was in my last exam. <laughs> wow. Dan's learning Dionys. Dionys, unbelievable. You should just know the way your father speaks about you. You should just know that. Shh, don't tell him. No, I won't. We don't want anything to swell. You should just be able to get through it, that's all. I mean, you will, you will. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay. So this one you will also know, Eli. Here, do you want to open it carefully? You recognize it, right? Yeah, it's the second paragraph of Shema. That's right. Immaculate and beautiful. That's a bit coming on. Again, look at this here, Vavadtem and Dvarai Eila. Look at the Lamed, how it fits between the Vet and the Ayn. Yeah. Just such precision. You see that? And yet not touching. Because the Lamed has a tug on top. I don't see any letters with cracks in them. I don't see any letters touching each other. You see anything there, Ellie? No. Mm. Mm. Might be a little, like the tiniest no. split thing. Um, you think there's a split there? No. Yeah, yeah, no, no, at the very end. No, it's just this. Let's see, maybe a bit of a crease there. Crease at the bottom of the cloth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, you're right, Ali. I see a crease, but I don't see any any split or anything. Great. Absolutely. So it looks like we've got kosher, beautiful, beautiful <coughs> filling. Beautiful, and what a story. I'd expect nothing less, I have to tell you. Yeah. And if you'd like, I could, I mean, I could arrange to have these properly put back into yeah, the batim. That would be great. And, and new ritzuot. New, new ritzuot, yeah. Exactly the same. We paid attention to the type of kesher. There are many types. We paid attention to the exact type of kesher, so we'll make the exact same kesher. That would be brilliant. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Are Nina. you in the videos? Are you, should, you should be... Rabbi just, Dr. Johnny, are you in the video? I I'm not in the video. I'll go in the video now. You must be. Hello, that's me. Maybe show a little bit of the Come of on, the, let's, of let's the have a look in. Of Maybe show a little bit of. Oh yes. Simon Tov, Mazel Tov. Turn the camera around. Simon Tov, Simon Tov, Mazel Tov. No, that's taking a picture. Johnny, don't know how to do it. The video's still on. Yeah, the video's still on, but I don't know how to turn it around. Are you able to send a video like that?